Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are warned that the following program may contain images and voices of people who have passed away. A lot of white people here that don't know what the star look like. You know, they go on the big school, but look at they in the city, covered in cloud. They don't know what direction the star. Well, what area is the star rising from? East or here, north or west or wherever. What we do know is that things like Stonehenge and the pyramids and so on have only been around for like five or 6,000 years. So if this knowledge of astronomy goes back more than about 10% of the time that people have been in Australia. Yes, it makes the Aboriginal Australians the world's first astronomers. Indigenous astronomy, I think, is one of the oldest cultural perceptions of astronomy on Earth. So I think it's absolutely fantastic that we have the opportunity to sit under the stars and learn about some of that and exchange some ideas about what the night sky means and also give the artists an opportunity to look through the telescopes, which many of them haven't done before. And so that gives you, again, a different view of the universe. When you're looking at the sky, it really shows a difference in the way white people think to the way Aboriginal people think. Because white people, when they look at the sky, they look for the bright star, whereas Aboriginal people don't do that. They look at the spaces in the sky, and that's where they draw their stories from and all sorts of things that's happening with the sky. <laughs> 